In this tutorial, I will teach you how to modify your lines by using special effects. One of the simplest effects available is probably add effects, stylize, border. Border will just has will just add a border on your line. Of course, make sure that the color of the border corresponds to the original color of the line. If I use something else, then it's not a good color. Another effect will be the optical flow that can be found into distortion optical flow. To explain it, I will just increase the duration of my layer. So the optical flow allows you to deform the pixels. Here I will be interested by the random mode, just here, that allows me to move, to um, shake a little bit the lines. We can eventually lower the variance and the length if it's too big. Then it's more subtle. Another way to modify your lines is obviously to use some blurs. Um, but there is specifically a blur really interesting, which is the motion blur. So the motion blur allows me to deform chosen area to increase the, um, the feeling of speedness, you know. And so every pixel that goes in this area will be blurred. Another effect, but this one is really heavy to use. So honestly, if your computer is not powerful enough, don't try it at home. <laughs> this effect is called rendering brush spreading. Brush spreading allows you to uh, spread a brush, a custom brush, on a shape or a line. So I have to choose first my brush and for this exercise I will take this lovely brush. So first I will change the dispersion. I will change also the size and use size at 8. And now I will show you the result. And as you can see, it gave a new aspect to our line. Another effect really important to know is the histogram, especially if, for example, in a drawing, uh, the line is not opaque enough, you have the possibility to use the color histogram. So it's a very complex effect with a lot of uh, parameters that you may change on the luminosity, the different RGB uh, values and the shadows and mid-tones and highlights. Here, the only tab that will interest me is the alpha tab. The alpha tab will allow me to change the alpha value. And if you don't want to uh, affect the whole drawing, you can combine it with selections. Now we'll talk with about another effect that makes sense only when the animation has been colored yet, just like in this example. So this time, I will go on the layer with the lines and I will use an effect called Line Colorizer. Line Colorize. So the line takes automatically the colors available on the background. You can see this. I will just increase the radius. Yep. And so there's no more lines anymore. <laughs> Actually, lines are still here, but they are just influenced by the colors from the CTG layer. I can eventually combine another effect like color adjust and adjust with brightness or contrast. 
Then I can apply. And just to reassure you, it just changed the color of the line. It doesn't affect the alpha values. And at least, um, not this time, not really an effect to um, change the lines, but an effect to apply texture on a shape. So we all know the texture either and the different way uh, to apply texture, but there is also an effect that works pretty well to do so. So let's imagine I would like to apply a texture on this scarf. So on the CTG layer, I will extract the color for the scarf, so the clear blue first. And the dark blue then. And I will merge both. Like this. So I have just the scarf just here. And now I can use the effect. I delete everything. And I will use the effect rendering in late texture. In late texture, we'll work uh, with the papers. So to define the papers, you have to go on this panel and enable the papers. You can eventually choose it by clicking on the paper of your choice. You can eventually change the blending mode. and the opacity and then automatically the shape will adapt with the colored area.